hey welcome back viewers now uh, in this lecture we'll create login script for this I mean for this uh, login script uh, because this has been uh, done now the sign up uh, process but we have just missed one thing which is uh, registering the session for this user so first of all we'll start session start the top of the page and then we will register the session here in the else situation let's say dollar underscore session is equal to user underscore email we want that to be the session and this will be equal to user underscore email so now we have registered the session because using the session we can actually uh, make the user logged in and then if uh, he she wants to log out then they can oh this is done now just I will make a copy of this page save as this will be login.php and I will also open first of all that file again this registration file and at the end of the form here after the form I will add a link first uh, h3 take and then inside the h3 take I will add a link to the login page so I will say already registered a question mark and then say login here in the login here text I will add a link rob login dot php that's it Control is to save I have closed the anchor tag I mean the link tag press you can see already registered login here but this is basically I will make it center using center take center and center close control is to save refresh the page again and you can see already registered login here that's fine nice so now come back to the login.php and remove all the stuff only we'll keep the we'll just change this h2 to login here and I will say the action to login.php and no multiform data is here where this is only the login form now we'll remove this tr and then we'll remove all the rest of the trs these all I mean we don't need them basically only we need two trs the password and the email uh, we can put this email one above the password to make it more beautiful that's it Just copy paste it we'll change this to name to login and the value to login I mean this is the button the submit button control is to save and just come here press the page and click this login you will see this login here email and password and login that's really nice and simple we have done this by a little effort now we will say if login is clicked and we will remove first of all all the other variables we don't need them right here we only need username and password 
so this files etc all the stuff I have just removed we only need this user password and user email now let's create the query for this just SEL it means select and write the query select all from register register underscore user where e user email is equal to this email user email and we'll use this end operator we'll say where user underscore pass is equal to user pass sorry user pass because we want to just verify both of the user email and user password because we need them both of them and after this let's say run is equal to my sql uh, run is equal to my sql i query connection is the one parameter and sel the second parameter this variable which has this query now we will just simply say check create a check variable local variable this will be equal to mysql i underscore number underscore rows let's say connection uh, sorry this variable run that's it now if check is equal to zero I mean there is no such kind of user existing in the table I will say echo or just I will copy this whole thing from registration.php page right here Let's see password or email or email is not correct. Try again. If the case is zero means we don't have a user with uh with this uh, you know login credentials, so we can just put this message if there is no user with us in else condition we will say first of all create the session for this user and the session will be user email basically that will be equal to user email that's it and uh, in the next uh, we will just again copy this javascript echo and we'll just redirect the person to home.php basically using the window.open command in javascript home.php and it will be a self window that's it really nice and simple now come here there is end of file problem at 99 oh we have just forgot to add curly brackets for the fs set I mean this FS set condition we started the 
it's curly bracket here but we didn't actually close that here control s to save now once again refresh the page and if we click login so it will say please out please fill out this form so we cannot do that and now the password is Wali Khan and this is the email so uh, if I add something wrong for example the email is the same but the password is wrong so if I click it will say please password or email is not correct try again that's it if I say ok this is my email correct email this is the correct password and it is now just taking me to the home page and I'm logged in that's fine nice so we have simply created the login form login.php page for this and the I mean the second page we already had this one I mean the sign up or registration form now we have the login form as well and both are working perfectly nicely but in the next video in the next lecture the f uh, we uh, will create i mean the logout form if someone wants to log out so they can be i mean logged out or also i need to add a link to this page i mean to login i will add a link here as well Let's copy this li uh, link from here from the registration page this one i'm talking about copy it and we'll paste it here just below the form take we'll say new here register here and change the paste to registration dot php that's it press the page and you can see new here so person will go to this form and if uh, they have they are already registered they will come to this so this is all dynamic now but there uh, you know in the next video I will teach you how you can create the logout uh, how you can log out this user and one more important thing is that okay the person needs to log in or register in order to go to the home page but if you go to the you know and write if you go to the browser and write home.php you still see this page why because the person is not yet logged in or registered but anyone can just direct go and can see home.php so this is something that we need to overcome because when you go to Facebook and you just uh, log out you know I'm, I'm logged out of out of Facebook so when I go to and write Facebook so I cannot log in I need to actually put the info the page remains the same when I put my email and uh, password and I logged in but the page re remains the same I mean facebook.com so therefore there is a logic behind it and we will use that in the next uh, lecture and also we will create the logout page in the next lecture so be with me